Hey, is anybody going to be at Legoland this Saturday, March 16th? If you are, let me know. Uh, love to see, meet you guys for the Spring Showdown competition. It's going to be our last competition of this year, this calendar year. Um, so it's going to be really super cool. Legoland this Saturday, March 16th. If you're going to be there, let me know in the comments section. I will try to meet up, say hello to you guys. Love it when teams are able to meet and just, you know, exchange stories, say how's it going, look at different, you know, the robots the way they are. So if you guys are going to be there, I'll catch you there. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be about those of you that teach robotics. It's just going to be a walk around my room to see what we're using as far as technology, see what we're using as far as uh, getting the job done as far as resources. So it's not something to try to get you to be the same. It's just getting you to think about what is happening in my robotics class. And, you know, there's definitely things I probably can improve on, um, but it's, I'm just going to take you around the room and show you what students are doing and using uh, just to have us go through a day of robotics. So this will be really cool. Stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So let's go ahead and talk um, technology. Uh, my students use laptops and they're basically using that for the Lego Mindstorm software uh, instructions and they program uh, their robots from there. Um, if they don't have, I mean, we don't have enough laptops for every single team. So I also have Chromebooks in my room. And so I have sent them the link to all the projects. So they're using Chromebooks for instructions, but they know that they're supposed to use the laptops that actually have the Lego Mindstorm software to program their robot um, from there. So you can go ahead and take a look at this as I go around the room. And then for power, um, I have charging stations all around the room uh, for students to, you know, when they notice that their battery is going low, that they need to charge this um, overnight for the next day. So they're not sitting in class, especially with certain projects where it's hard to pull out that battery. Because in certain cases, if their battery is, has just died, I don't want them sitting around all period not doing anything. So I have extra batteries that are charged and I'll just swap them out batteries. Um, but if they're low and they need to charge it, let's go ahead and take a look at where they would plug those in. So I have charging stations around the room so that when they're noticing that their battery is low, they'll just come and plug that in. So there's one charging station. Let's keep walking down here. Here's another charging station. They just look up and see that there is a charging station here. Wow, nobody's taken that charging station. And then they just plug it in. Um, sometimes it gets real crowded, and so I tell them, hey, if you see a green light, you can unplug it and put it into your robot. Okay, so as most of you guys know already, I have the extra piece drawers here. So if my students need any extra pieces, they come over to these drawers and basically just pull out what they need. It was kind of funny, the first year I was teaching robotics, we would just have extra pieces thrown into the EV3 kits and they would spend half the period looking for things and we just knew that that was a huge waste of time. So we ended up getting these drawers and every now and then I need my students to help me fill these back up. So I will have, uh, you know, just a team of two one day, just sit down and their job would be to just put extra pieces back into these drawers. Another thing I do that might be good for your class, uh, oh, I have a size chart here in case they need to measure um, their axles. 
Another thing I have found very helpful is I put up these for their projects. Um, sometimes in the um, instructions, the, uh, the cable placement is a little confusing. So whatever project, so there's the gyro boy and where the cable should go. There is the color sorter where the cable should go. The robot arm and then they're working on the puppy right now. So I just have them, <clears throat> if they're having issues, come over here and double check their cables. That way it frees me up to not have to always check their cables for them. Let's go ahead and take a look now at where my students store their Lego EV3 Mindstorms kit and where do they store their robots. I wish I had enough of these for each class, but we have cabinets for all the team's kits. And then for that same period, we have what I call the parking lot. So I have my students bring in shoe boxes and they'll just put their robot inside their shoe box. That way if pieces fall off, they'll just fall off into the box and they know that it's theirs. If they don't, like this case here, this would be an issue and that team would just have to know that that's their part. So um, it, it's pretty convenient and organ, you know, organized to have them place their kit here and then their shoe box here. So the next day we're ready to roll. Okay, you guys, so there is just a glimpse of how things uh, go in my robotics class. Um, it's just taken me all these years. I think this is my fifth year of teaching robotics. So it's just taken me years and years of messing up and going, oh, wait, that's a better idea uh, to just come up with what has been working for our class. So obviously in your situation, things might be different. Um, you know, technology might be different. The room size might be different. So you guys have to just adjust to whatever your environment is at the moment. So hopefully that was a good look into what I do in my class. If there's something I left out, leave me a question or comment in the comment section and I will answer each one of your questions because robotics teachers, I am here for you. So if you need support, I got your back. Okay guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mission Lego Robotics. I am out. Oh.